What's going on my dudes? My name is Don Styles, and today is a beautiful day. Probably one of the most beautiful days I've seen in like two weeks. It's been real wet and cloudy and cold and basically like raining almost every day and it was just disgusting. And today, it's a nice 70 degrees, no clouds in the sky, maybe 80, I don't even know, man. Beautiful day. Today, we're gonna talk about my car. It's basically gonna be like an ownership review. It's been about a year, basically a year on the 26th of June. Basically a year since I bought it and I just wanna go over the things I've gone through with it and um, things I've done to it, things I wanna do to it, stuff like that, you know. And there's a lot of flies and mosquitoes. This is gonna be annoying. Some of the things I've, or basically all of the things I've done to it were like maintenance and repairs and stuff like that. Like the most recent thing I think, I think it was the most recent was I, I got a, a wheel alignment, like all four wheels and it made a huge difference. I got front tires. I still need to get back tires, but that's about it. I changed my exhaust. At first I had this really big exhaust and it was really loud and it was kind of annoying inside the car. There was a lot of, um, what you call it? Uh, I don't know why I can't get that word. What is it? Drone. There's a lot of drone in the car and it was really loud and annoying and I couldn't really like, I couldn't hear myself. I couldn't have a conversation in the car. After I got the car, I had a stock exhaust and I was just like, you know, it's too quiet. You know, I want, I want to, I wanted a Subaru and I wanted to hear my Subaru, you know? So I, I used that and it was basically like a cat back and it was just stupid loud. And I, I just could, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it too long. So I got this, it's basically like an eBay exhaust. I got it for like 150, it was real cheap, but it does, it does what it needs to do. It's super quiet. Technically the car is straight pipe with just the muffler on it. But like when I'm when I'm not on it, when I'm just cruising, it's chill. Like it's super quiet and I I love it. But when I am on it, boy, it's loud. Like I mean it's not rip your ears apart loud. I mean to me it's not rip your ears apart loud, but it's loud. I kinda want that rip your ears apart loud, but I don't know if I'm ready for that yet, you know? I don't know what kind of, uh, like my neighborhood's not ready for that. It's loud enough for me right now. Um, we get some inside clips. I don't got no mic or whatever, you feel me? But we'll hear it. I know I haven't really shown the interior, so here's the interior. I mean, it's not like the best. I need to get a detailed low key, but um, it's still pretty nice. I mean, <laughs> it's simple. It's, it's, it got uh, wet stains on the on the thing, so I just need to clean that up. That's why these are on there. Um, it came with this, but I only got the car for like three grand, so I don't even care. It did come with this Cobb access port, and this really like, it helps, especially when like I got check engine lights and I didn't know what the hell was going on. I could like easily just see what's going on and then re like remove the code if anything because most of the stuff was really like bs usually it might come on for like a, a misfire i think for the misfires i just need to change my plug wires but i'm think i'm just gonna change my whole set of uh coil packs and then get the plug wires as well and then just i'll be all good i got i got spark plugs already and that really really helped um yeah let me let me show you the engine so everything on here pretty much came with the car except this this is um basically just a filter from uh my previous car which was my hyundai genesis coupe which i crashed i'll tell you the story a little later but yeah i i kept uh, this i never even put it on i have like all the piping and stuff i never put it on but i took this and we had to like kind of make it fit so this is like a second rubber piece in there but yeah so it fits it was better than the last one the other one we, that came with the car was really dirty and i feel like it didn't even do a good enough job so yeah there's literally a helicopter landing 
right behind me. I don't know if you could see that. I'm sure you can hear it. It's kind of loud. I kind of want to see that actually. Hold up. Let me go over there. That was pretty random. Helicopter just landed right over there and it just took right back off. I don't even know. Whatever. Back to my car. Look at it over there. I don't know what they're doing. My power steering. That joint is finished. So we had to like take that belt off because the car wasn't gonna really it was gonna pop the belt. So we changed the belt, got a smaller belt. That was a whole fiasco on its own. I mean we got it in the day, but it was like a almost couldn't drive my car for like a while kind of thing. But that's not what happened, so it's all good. So me got my car, it's driving. I had no power steering, but it's all good. I mean do what you gotta do, man. You feel me? I had many moments where I could have bought my power, power steering pump back and all that, and I just did it. Oh well, so is life. You feel me? Who cares? I'm fine with no power steering. You know, it's a little exercise. I'm a little skinny. You feel me? But whatever. I'm gonna get it eventually because it's kind of needed, especially when I like. I have I've had moments where I went like went to the city or driving in Brooklyn too. It's just like a lot. It's a lot and especially in traffic i want to go like change my lane it's like oh once again a lot definitely got to get that on but that's kind of like not a priority my next the next thing i'm gonna do is definitely the coil packs and definitely the spark plug wires I almost forgot that i did this too um, I got a boost gauge. I need that. And this is supposed to be supposed to be an air fuel ratio gauge I got for $40 for somebody and it don't work. So I need to get a new gauge and then I need a I need an oil pressure gauge. After I get that oil pressure gauge, then I could get a tune and then my car would be running a lot smoother. So I I, I, I need to get that done. But I know those those oil pressure gauges from AEM are like 180 and that's that's a little less of a priority than other stuff i have a whole business i'm trying to run but that's another story so yeah what else have i done so let me tell you about the things i want to do to this car coilovers wheels tires a new turbo this roof scoop well, i just got changed the whole color of the body well not the color but just get it repainted and the whole thing red and fix that dent and it's so much man my first real upgrade is probably going to be my brakes after i do the brakes then maybe i'll do like suspension or maybe i'll do the turbo first i think my turbo sears are leaking and i need a new turbo and why not just go bigger right 